what is up guys espion 804 here with another random pokemon related video i guess so this is my old dsi had this is i was like nine or ten it's worn down it still works but it's, yeah it still works forgive me if you can't understand me i tend to talk too fast i'm trying to slow down so you can understand what i'm saying anyway enough of that so I have my collection of Pokemon games and I went to GameStop the other day the Pokemon Platinum copy I had before from GameStop was a fake copy but how am I supposed to put it it's probably the most realest fakest copy ever like um how do I describe it it's your typical platinum cartridge, only, you know, the golden part of it is not shiny. But it still works. The only problem I had is that it froze. It froze a lot. I had to constantly save the games with lose my own um, files. But it could trade, it could transfer, it could battle with other, with my soul silver. So I went to GameStop and I found this little guy sitting on the shelf and I was like hey it came with the case I want it so I asked the guy if I could look inside see if it's real and it turns out this is actually a legit copy I'm not sure if, if it's a unopened copy or if it's a what do you call it a um re-release I don't know what they call it I know they, they make probably another copy from now and then the only thing this guy lacks is the manual but I'm not sure. I just know it's the real deal copy. Because we know that fake Platinums, they don't have the red box right here. And Diamond Pro Platinum does not have the rating. I don't know why. It, never, it just never did. I looked it up. It's, it's normal. It has some black and white, but you know, this is completely normal. It's legit anyway. But yeah, I had this since I was... Yeah, this is... You can tell I had this for a while. It's worn down for real. But anyway... The best way I can compare a legit copy to a fake is by bringing out my Pokemon Ranger game right here. So let me go ahead and turn on the light so you can get a better look at this. Can't see nothing. Okay, there we go. So I had this, I bought this at Walmart in 2010, and I bought this last week. So yeah. This is Pokemon Ranger. A real copy has that shiny look on the back, that shiny golden look. And you can see, you can actually see the, um, it's kind of hard to see through the phone, but the, the white letters are readable. The printing is normal. You know, the stickers, you know, it's, it's just there. And forgive my hands like a mess. I was working today and it tore up my hand. Yeah. This is Pokemon Platinum. The manual is the only thing I'm worried about, but the thing about the manual, you know, this is a real manual, it's glossy, it's shiny, has that nice crisp look, you know, even though I've bent it so many times, it will look through it. Here's platinum. Shiny. In fact, let me feel it. It feels the same. And I remember, I remember this manual very well. Yeah, Giratina just staring at you with his a real look. So it's the manual. It just doesn't have that, um, you know, that extra stuff that the other ones have. And this is the game. So as you can see, it's crispy looking. It's shiny in the back. The letters are, you can see them very clearly. It's, you know, this is a legit copy. It's just... It was never used. It looks very nice. It's not dark because the old copy I had, the lettering was darker and it looked kind of, you know, like cheap paper and stuff like that. But yeah. And when I was squeezing it, it felt like it was squishy. But this one is not as squishy as the last one I had. And the gold color here was very dull. It wasn't shiny at all. But this one is, is legit. And the lettering in the old one I had, it was kind of between the ridges. 
So let's compare these two. This is Ranger and this is Platinum. So they practically look the same. It's just some of them, they're not made exactly the same, but you know what I mean, right? So yeah, this is Platinum. And my old copy of Platinum, I couldn't fit it into my 3DS or my DSi without pushing it. So this is Ranger right here. My hands look terrible, I'm sorry. This is Ranger right here. It just clicks right in. And this is Platinum. Clicks right in. So this is Platinum. So this game has not froze on me once. It works perfectly fine, no glitches. Like those platinum glitch videos I showed y'all earlier, it was from the old copy, the fake copy. This is, I bought this a few days ago. This is the real deal, Pokemon Platinum. And this is my, my childhood game. I had my earlier copy, but it was stolen from my neighbor and never gave it back, so yeah. Just be aware when you go to GameStop that they may have a um, fake copy, so just, you know, take a look at it. Be nice, say, hey, can I take a look at it? You know, they might think you're crazy. They, I told a guy, I said, look, you know, I go to sound crazy, but can I please see the copy of Platinum? So he took it out, he opened it, he let me look at it, and I said, okay, yeah, this is the real deal copy. It's just real taken care of or never touched. Because some people buy the game, they never, they never really play with it. You know, it depends on the quality, I believe. But yeah, this is it. And I could, I, just, I could do anything to this one. Like, if I go in my bag, my old one will freeze. I'm just going to mess around with it, you know. Do the stuff that make my game freeze. Like, just go through the bag like a fool. Like, let's go ahead and do some crazy stuff right here. Let's just stroll up and down, make the game confused. I press B and it'll freeze. But it didn't. So yeah, this is pretty neat. It's actually faster, as it should be. And let me get my other DS. Oh geez, I need to take care, better care of how I handle my stuff. You know, I can really just pause it and come back. I'm too lazy to do that. Okay, there we go. Gee, this is this thing is hard to open one hand. Okay, with my old cartridge, I had to literally shove it in this thing. But this new one, jeez, oh, come on, dude, don't do this to me. This new one, boom, it slides right in. No problemo. That's the best you ever get a screenshot of me. I ain't showing y'all nothing else. Moving away, even though y'all don't care. All right. So, it sounds weird on a 2DS. We have the speakers at the bottom. I don't know why they put it down here, but it freezes more on this system than it does on the DSi. Let me go ahead and do this again. Mess around the system, you know. And notice, you know, I close it. It still plays. Even even when I do this several times, the old cartridge will just cut off. But this one is perfectly fine, no matter how many times I do it. So yeah, this is um the real deal. And I'm actually glad about that. Don't mind I have some more sticker. My sister put that there. She was messing with it. I won't keep it there because it's not on there. But yeah. I need to really take care of my hands. They look tedious. But that's platinum. And I plan on keeping it.
Man, I miss how nice and glorious this case looked. Brings back some childhood memories. So just be aware of what to look for when you buy a game, especially if it's not in a case. And for games such as um, Soul Silver Black and White, I believe Black and White is um, they're in the darkish card. They're in a the black one instead of gray. Yeah, they're they are black. In a real deal ones, they have the red printing inside, and Soul Silver definitely has it. So if you buy a black and white or Soul Silver that's not black, or you can't see the um. You know, the hardware inside, that you probably bought a fake copy. So that's what you need to be on the lookout for. And I think that's about it. I need to get a better camera, because this is the worst camera work I've done so far. I'm going to go ahead and just um, end this. So thank you for your time. Sorry for the potato quality I have shown you. But, yeah, this made my day. Thank you to whoever put this in GameStop. You've done well to people. Yeah. I'm still mad it took down Wi-Fi for Generation 4 or 5. Man, getting beat up by those people in Japan was my childhood. <laughs> Let me stop. I could never win those battles. They are so good. I need to get better. Calling it a night.